Today I'm going to demonstrate Motion Pro's film strip feature. At the moment I have a tennis player up at, in the video console here under video analysis, but you can use any video for this feature. You want to do one swing at a time, so what I'm going to do is just mark in beginning and mark end the beginning and ending of her swing. So I'm going to mark begin about there. And then I'm going to mark, whoops, I'm going to mark end. I'm using a scroll bar to do this, or you can use the keys next to the play button to go forward and backward, or use your keyboard to do as well. So I got our whole swing there. I'm going to hit mark end. I'm going to hit play. So it's just going to show me just that swing. So next, all you do is click on the film canister button below here, or you could click on the film strip button. Uh, up here. I'm going to click on the film canister here. It's going to load the frames I just marked off. So you can see I have 41 frames, but I don't have a whole swing on the screen. So what I'm going to do is see this one up here? I'm going to change the skip rate. I'm going to have it skip every fifth frame so I see more of the swing. And I'm going to hit the reload film canister button right next to it on the left. Give it a second to load. And now I just have nine frames. So if I hit the plus button, that'll actually make them bigger so I could see them all. And then if I hit Control T to hide the console or go up here um, under View, you could hide a control. You hit that button as well. But I'm going to hit Control T. So now I have her whole sequence on one screen in nine frames. So if you go up to File, quick snapshot, it'll actually print out that that screen. So I could print it at this moment, I could save it, um, so I could email it, and I just hit close here, I hit control T again, I got my normal sequence, and then video analysis when you're done, and that's how easy it is to use our film strip. And if you try this in our software, on our trial version at www.motionprosoftware.com.